Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West and today I am doing the makeup book tag. This is a fairly older tag. The link to the original video will be down below and I was not tagged to do this video. I just decided that I wanted to do it. The basis of this tag video is that I am not wearing any makeup whatsoever on my face right now and I am going to do my makeup while I talk about books. So let's get started. So question number one is foundation. Pick your favorite book that is the first book in a series. So for this one, I think it's kind of easy for me because I do most definitely have a favorite book and it is the first book in a series. So it's probably going to be the one I'm going to go with. The book, of course, is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, of which I have six copies of now because I did just get a new one during the last Booktubeathon. Um, the coupon that goes with the Booktubeathon included one of my included this book in the UK one of the UK edition copies because it is the Northern Lights instead of the Golden Compass. And as I did not own a copy of the Golden Lights before, I had to get it and added another copy. One of the other copies I've shown off on here is the German version. Uh, of The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman and it's absolutely gorgeous and was a one-year anniversary present from my husband for our wedding. Second anniversary is coming up so I've had it for almost a year and I'm still not able to read it yet. And it is kind of from the foundation of my reading as it was the second book I picked up and read and liked which made me realize that Harry Potter was not a fluke and I did actually enjoy reading more than just one book, so. Question number two is eyeshadow. Question number two is pick a book that has your favorite color on the front of it. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I wear my favorite color pretty much in every video because my favorite color is black. And there are people, of course, who say black is not a color, in which case, I guess my favorite color would be teal, although my favorite eye color is definitely purple. So, favorite book with black cover. Well, the first one that pops into mind is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which does have, you know, black and gray and white on the front, which is gorgeous. Um, Another one I really like is Shadow and Bone because it's got the red and the black and the gray and that's also a very great color scheme that I really, really enjoy. So yeah, those are some of the books that have m one of my favorite color schemes on them. Oh, there's also the Night Circus. Not only does the Night Circus have an absolutely gorgeous cover. It is one of the best color schemes throughout the whole thing and I really really enjoy the cover for The Night Circus. And I cannot think of the author's name at the moment but I do really really love the cover. So there's eyeshadow. Question number three is eyeliner. I of course used liquid eyeliner. The question is pick a dark and mysterious book. Dark and mysterious book. I think, I think Anne Bishop's Dark Jewels trilogy is the best one I think that's suited for this because it is very, very, very dark but also extremely, extremely beautiful in the world building and just the way that it's all set up to tell the story. And it is definitely one of my favorite series of all times. It is an adult series and it has some very, very adult themes, mostly in the form of rape. Uh, but they look at it in all different ways, rape of women, rape of men, children, the land, religion, and just the whole, whole scheme of it. 
so it definitely falls under the dark. I'm not a big fan of mysteries. Um, don't do those a lot. I do have the Cuckoo's Calling up there. I have not read it yet. I have The Chemist, which would kind of be mysterious in a different way. I have not read it yet. There are the Francisca Cahill novels, which I have read, but they are definitely romance before they're mysterious, and they're not very dark at all. So yeah, for eyeliner, I think it will have to go to Anne Bishop and her Dark Jewels series. Number four is mascara, which I don't normally wear, and it is pick a long book. Well, the longest book I think I have ever read, completed anyway, would have to be, I think, Sticks by Sherilyn Kenyon. It is an extremely long book, and so is her book Asheron. They are both over a thousand pages. Uh, there is also, of course, Name of the Wind and A Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, which are pretty massive, even if I have the mass market paperback editions of them. Scared, not my favorite thing. I do really like long books, though. Number five, pick a cringe-worthy romance novel. I don't do too many of these. My romances that I choose to read aren't generally all that cringy to me, because I like reading the romance parts of them. But, uh, Sherilyn Kenyon, of course, is a romance writer. All of hers are romance. Um, and they can get kind of graphic. There is, of course, the Francesca Cahill novels, which I mentioned before. Pretty romancy. Even involves her falling for a man, and then when she finds out he's married, she falls for his half-brother. So that's kind of cringy. Slight spoilers, but I'm not sure too many of you are going to read romantical historical fiction that is the Francesca Cahill novels by Brenda Joyce. But if you do, you know, I like them. I've read them a couple of times, and personally, I pick the half-brother that she goes for after the police commissioner, so it's just my personal opinion on that one. Number six is lipstick. My favorite book kiss. Um, one of those definitely has to go to uh, Reese and um, Feyre, Reese and Feyre in the, uh, in Akamath. Should use my mirror a little bit more. Uh, because they're definitely one of the favorite relationships. I also really like uh, Lucifer and Marianne from the Dark Jewels series. Ooh, not a dark. Uh, I actually really like their relationship together. And question number seven is finishing powder, which I don't actually use, so no makeup to do for that one. But it is pick your favorite last book in a series. For this one, this one I definitely cannot pick the final book in the Golden Compass series because I did not like the way that ended, even if it worked out well. I think that might have to go to World After, the final book in the Angel Fall trilogy, because I loved the entire series. So yeah, that's it for the makeup tag. I now have all my makeup on, and I get to edit this video and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I tag every guy watching this to do this tag. And if you do or you have already done it, then please leave a link or your, to your video down below. I post videos every Thursday or else I lose books. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wicked day.